Good evening, fellow Earthlings. This is Mr. Abe from the Ashcroft Observatory and the Southern Utah Mobile Planetarium. I'm joined for these videos by my friends Tyler, Caitlin, and Marshawn, who will be my in studio audience. Say hello. Hello. So I've got it set for about 1.30 p.m. right here in the planetarium software. And I've got it set going in real time, one second per second, but I'm going to be speeding up time here in just a minute. And when I do that, what is the sun going to do? It's going to go down, right? Is it going to go down which direction? We've got these letters here, right? Yeah, the sun rises in the east and it sets in the west. So we'll go ahead and test that hypothesis here. I'll hit the fast forward button and there it goes. The sun goes down, the stars come out, and we can see, go ahead and pan up here a little bit. It's uh, a little more immersive in the dome. Um, we can see, I'm going to hit the lights here. So we can see that better. We can see the stars overhead, but we can also see, I'll go ahead and keep this dark here. While we go, we can also see that big stripe there across the sky. Do you see that? Does anybody know what that is? The Milky Way. That's right, the Milky Way. Now, we see it as a stripe, not as like the spiral like you usually see. Pictures of the galaxy. We, we, what we see in the night sky is the stripe because it's like a blueberry pancake and we're one of the blueberries, right? So we only see it from the edge inward or outward. We don't see the whole thing. I'll go ahead and shift our view northward here. Yeah, and I'll draw our attention to all the stars are moving except that star right there. Do you see that star right there? I was just standing right where it is on the screen. Does anybody know what star that is? Uh, that'd be the North Star. That's right, that's the North Star. It's named Polaris. It's called the North Star because Earth's North Pole is pointed right at it. So while we're spinning, all the other stars appear to move, except for that one. Our axis of rotation is what we call it, is pointed right at Polaris, right, right there. And so for thousands of years, the Earth wobbles a little bit, um, but for thousands of years, that has been our North Star. And uh, astronomers and, and sailors and navigators have used it to get around. We haven't always had Google Maps, cell phones, GPS, right? We, people used to use the stars to navigate. And so in order to help with that, they sort of played a game of connect the dots, right? They found these shapes in the sky to help them remember where all the stars are, which ones are which, and to figure out where they are on the planet. They made these shapes, and they gave names to these shapes, and that's what we call the constellations. And over time, they made up stories and characters about these constellations. And that's how we get things like Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, the big and little bears, Pegasus, Perseus, Draco the dragon, uh, turning our attention back southward. We get some other ones. Leo the lion. Hydra. Orion the hunter. Fighting Taurus the bull there. And behind him is two dogs. Canis, Canis Major and Canis Minor. And we get some uh, interesting things as far as the shapes of them. Right, You'll notice Orion has, has sort of an iconic 
shape there but then you you look at canis minor right there he's actually just two stars if you can see that so some of them they they really use their imagination on these uh scorpius the scorpion and some of these you may recognize right yeah so obviously these are the zodiac signs i'm catching on to so how did they apply these to right different months so that's an excellent question actually the zodiac comes from right there we've got our ecliptic line which is the line that the sun takes through the sky throughout the year and you'll notice that that goes through those zodiac constellations that you were talking about and so they were they it was actually the ancient babylonians about four thousand years ago three thousand thereabouts um that developed a calendar based on the path of the sun through the sky throughout the year because as we go around the sun throughout the year it appears to be in different places right it, it appears to, to it covers up different constellations so they made that calendar based on the sun's path through the constellations and uh truth be told after 3,000 years it's gotten a little bit off right and we can explore that um why not right now we'll finish our constellations by exploring the path of the sun so we'll go ahead and lock our focus on the sun there and i can bring up constellation boundaries i'll zoom in a bit and we can see that yeah that's aries right there and we can see that today um which is hang on we've gone forward in time a little bit let's get back to today we are in okay we're back over in pisces which main if does anybody here know i just guess it's mine that's yours do you, is it close to your birthday right now um february 22nd all right let's check that out to 22 i'm sorry you're actually an aquarius <laughs> learning new things today tyler you're in sometime in november right do you know what your star sign is um <laughs> I'll tell you what, it depends on who you ask. <laughs> That's I've fair. Heard, I've heard of both of them. Well, did any of them say Libra? No. Because no, no. at some point in November, <laughs> it would make you a Libra. Uh, how about you, Marshawn? Do you know? I have been called a Capricorn. When's your birthday? 23rd December. December 20th. Ooh, this might be... The fun zone. Yeah, I've been told I've been in that too. Yeah. Sagittarius. All yeah, right. Yeah, I said that's... I was on the cusp or something like that. That's what they call it. Cusp of like two different signs or something like that. So... But here's what's really fun. If we go to December 10th, or I guess the, the 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 beginnings of December. Do you see what constellation that's in right there? That's in Scorpio. Ophiuchus. Oh. Yeah, that's part of that's that's passing through because like I said the earth wobbles a little bit oh, yeah. over thousands of years. So the calendar is totally off. You know, some of them are just oh that's still that's still a uh, still a zodiac constellation, it's just a different one. Well, this one is one doesn't show up on any of the calendars. It doesn't show up on your horoscope. <laughs> uh, but as far as <clears throat> and this is official from from the astronomy professor here at SUU, the the official stance of the SUU science department is look at the horoscopes, pick your favorite one. There you go, that's your horoscope. <laughs> that works. And thanks for tuning in. That's it for this episode. And tune in next time and we'll get going on the planets.